Welcome to the Secret Garden of Survival, and um, I've just uh, taken out a super from one of my beehives. You might be able to see that there's actually uh, three stowaway bees that um, wouldn't come out of the the hive, but um, I've got them in here now. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them, but we're going to do something different today. Um, I'm going to extract these. Um, the super, the, the frames of the super, the honey from the super. I'm going to use something a little different that I haven't used before. And I'm going to show you that in a moment. That's our honey extractor. And um, basically, you turn the handle on that thing, you put the, um, the frames inside of it, and they spin around. And the honey comes out, but what you have to do to get everything started is start uncapping the honey. So let me set this up. Okay, um, normally I use an electric uncapping knife, and this thing gets hot. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen me uncap honey with this. Uh, what it does is it melts the cappings on the uh, frames and um, basically just takes them off. It allows the honey to flow so that when you put it in the extractor here, um, it'll spin out. Um, but um, I've always been concerned about this because I've had one go on me already, and if we ever do have a grid down situation and there's no electricity, then this knife uh, really is worthless. So um, a friend of mine uh, showed me this little device right here, which is looks like a kind of a spiky little hair roller on a stick and um, what you do with this is you hold the frames up and this just basically punctures holes in all the cappings um, so you actually waste a lot less wax this way and um, also it's a lot easier and a lot faster at least that's what uh, that's what they say so we're going to find out about that I'm going to try this out and, uh, First thing I need to do is get uh, a frame out of the super, and uh, I will do that right now. Okay, this is a uh, frame of honeycomb, and uh, I'm not sure what kind of detail you can see, but um, if a frame is basically level and flat like this, it makes using an uncappy knife pretty easy, um, and you don't waste a lot of um, a lot of the the wax cap, um, but when the other side is looks like a, an, an ocean, a bunch of ocean waves, because uh, for some reason the bees didn't uh, do it evenly, then what you end up with is, uh, is a lot of wasted wax and uh, also um, you know, a difficult time trying to uncap it all without losing a lot of honey too. So um, what I'm going to show you, you know, get up close and you can see what I'm talking about, but uh, there's a lot of waviness in here. On the other side, is almost completely flat. So what I'm going to do is uh, give this thing a test. And one of the neat things about this is normally you're uncapping your uh, frames on a um, on a separate surface, and when you do, you end up with honey and wax and everything all over the place, and um, that is kind of a pain in the butt. So here we are, and I'm just kind of going through, and um, this is one super frame wide, this uh, roller, and uh, uncapping this, just basically poking holes in all the, in all the frame, all of the, uh, the honeycomb, going back this way as well, to get it all, try to get it all, poke holes in all of it. Now, amazingly, we've got ourselves an uncapped frame on that side, and that is really fast. Normally, using a knife or using a hot knife takes a lot longer and is a lot messier. So, um, I'm going to try this other side here. Just basically rolling it over. Tapping this side, 
Jake's was poking holes in the, in the honeycomb. I'll tell you, this is amazing. I saw a video on this from the manufacturer. And I uh, said, man, if this is this easy, uh, we've got to have this. Again, in the grid down situation, this is going to make all the difference in terms of being able to uncap the comb without having to have a hot knife. So I've already got honey dripping into this extractor. So that side is done. And um, I'm going to go along and finish all these frames. And then we'll give it a spin and uh, collect some honey. Okay, I now have um, nine uncapped frames in here. And it took me maybe 10, 11 minutes. Um, I encourage you to take a look at um, my video on uncapping using the uncapping knife because I have never, in all the times I've done this, never had a situation where it was so so little mess, so little to have to clean up afterwards, and uh, it worked just great. So um, I'm going to spin this thing around, and we're going to uh, extract the um, extract these and spin this thing. I need some place to put this this roller and I uh, didn't want to put it on the floor. It's still dripping honey as you can see. So um, I wanted to put it in the bucket that I'm going to uh, collect the honey in. Uh, this is a clean food grade bucket and um, I'll put that down at the bottom where the spigot is. I'll show you that in a little bit. And then this is um, basically a little strainer and it's uh, actually a nylon strainer uh, very very fine very very fine mesh and the neat thing about this is um, you get wax and that sort of stuff in there and you can actually push it inside out and get it all out and spray it that way so um, just use this and stick it on the bucket it just sits there and strains all of that wax and little bee parts and other stuff out. So I will put this inside the, uh, the bucket and let it strain out the, uh, let it drip the, the honey out. And then I'll get this thing cranking. There's a little crank right here. And you just turn, turn this. It's got a little clutch actually. So once it gets going, you just let it go. And it spins honey out. And it starts a little, it'll shake a little bit when it's unstable because uh, you never get the weight right, quite right in terms of uh, getting everything even. But then eventually, you just get enough of that honey out of there. And, uh, the centrifugal force just throws the honey out of the frames, goes on the side of the, uh, the stainless steel um, bucket here, and then just drips down the side and ends up down at the bottom where you can drain it out in the speed. See the honey splattering against the wall? That's it right there. That is the honey going down the side of this stainless steel um, container and it'll eventually drip down to the bottom and um, there'll be a whole bunch of honey down there. Stop the uh, spinning for a second and you can see the, um, the frames and how they are starting to um, to lose all their honey and if you look down on the bottom you can actually see the liquid honey down there we'll just go right over here to the bucket and you can see we've got a bucket here and the strainer there and I'm just going to unscrew this we're gonna 
let some honey flow. So that is going into the strainer. And you can see it's just starting to fill up the bucket right there. And that is nice, pure, beautiful honey. And the strainer will just strain out any of the, the wax parts and the um, little bee parts, if there are any. And that is really dark, uh, rich, raw honey. Looking close, um, now that most of the honey is draining out, you can see the wax residue there on the filter. So that won't end up in our honey that we, that we eat and uh, in the bucket. It's got a lot of nice dark honey. And that's um, about a three gallon bucket. It's already almost half full. Um, and uh, I expect that we'll get at least two buckets out of this one, uh, one super of honey. You know, maybe a little bit more. And um, probably end up being about 20 pounds of honey out of this one super. So there you have it. Um, the only thing left to do at this point is to uh, take this honey, this uh, now filtered and uh, processed honey, and um, put it uh, in jars, in some of our recycled honey jars. And um, I'll tell you, I can't say enough good things about this little little roller here uh, to uncap the, the honeycomb. Um, this is, uh, I've been doing, been a beekeeper for a number of years and uh, done an awful lot of these supers, um, an awful lot of uncapping of frames and collecting of honey and um, I have never had something that is so fast, um, so little mess and uh, so easy to use without having to do a lot of cleanup of the knife, the area. I know my wife appreciates that, not having sticky honey all over the floor and all over everything. Um, so cleanup is unbelievably easy, and uh, really, this is the way it should be. So I'm going to use these from now on. I've already ordered one, and uh, it'll be great. So I suggest you do too.